Hey guys, so I finally made it to New York. It's kind of a crazy story how I ended up getting here and almost didn't end up catching my bus. So there's a bus called the Dartmouth Coach that goes between Dartmouth's campus and New York City and also Boston. And I've taken it before and I feel like every time I take the New York one, like something goes wrong. So of course something went wrong this time. I had my ticket and it said 2.30 on the ticket as like the departure time and last time I like ran a little bit late so I was like not gonna do that this time like definitely gonna be there early I left 15 minutes early got there at like 2.15 I was like great and literally as I was pulling in the bus was pulling out and I was like what is going on it's like maybe there's another bus and so I go into like the ticketing station and I ask them like hey was that the only new york bus like is there another one and they're like yeah it leaves here like the main station at 2 15 leaves the other station that's like 15 minutes away like the main campus at 2 30 and i was like wait i didn't see that on my ticket because i bought that i bought my ticket for the station and so long story short i was like freaking out didn't know what to do i had my car so i couldn't even just drive the 15 minutes down and leave my car anywhere especially because it's snow season you can't leave your car overnight literally anywhere um i was planning to leave my car at the station so i was like is there anything i can do like can they come back and she was what the lady at the counter was like no um and i didn't really expect her to say yes either but then she was like there's another one there's another bus tomorrow morning at 6 15 a.m do you want to switch to that and at that point i was just like i mean i'm missing this bus like and I need to get to New York so I guess I'm taking it tomorrow and out of the corner of my eye I like see another person in the station and he walks out but I don't really think much of it and then to change it to the next day I had to pay a $10 change fee so I was like okay let me go go to my car and grab my wallet and as I walk out to my car actually I was running out to my car I see the other the person who just got picked up he looked like a student he looked kind of normal and I don't know what overcame me I feel like stranger danger just like went out the window for some reason honestly would not recommend but thankfully these were really nice and normal people um, I was like is there any way you could drop me like 10 minutes down the road and they actually weren't from there they were from like a town further up north but they were like yeah sure so I just like ran back into the station asked the lady who was like already pissed at me and was already like switching my ticket and I was like I found somebody outside who was willing to take me uh can you ask the bus driver to like wait five minutes like even five minutes because I had a way to get there it was just a matter of like at this point I think it was like 224 or something um, and the bus was supposed to leave this place at 2.30. So I was like, is there any way they could just wait five minutes, like, please? And she was like, there's no guarantees, but go. And so I literally threw my bags in this people's car. I honestly don't even remember one of their names. One of them was named Malachi. So on the very, very, very off chance you're watching this, thank you so much, Malachi. Um, I threw my bags in their car. I took my car and I had to park it because it's the holidays the main parking lot was full so I literally had to drive to the overflow parking lot parked my car ran back to their car and then directed them and this whole time not even knowing if the bus would still be there and thankfully it was and they literally just ran to the bus drive and I was like can I go get my bags like thank you so much for waiting and it worked out and I made it my friend was nice enough to let me stay at her beautiful apartment while I'm here in New York and honestly still can't believe I made it I was like on such an adrenaline high that entire time on a five-hour bus ride I like was planning to edit vlogs for YouTube I was planning to do emails so much work I was just like on an adrenaline on an adrenaline high the whole time and like couldn't focus on anything so I just listened to a bunch of podcasts anyways so out of breath now anyways I'm waiting for my friend Noor to now get to where I am. Um, she's been staying with family in Long Island and we're gonna head into the city and hopefully get dinner. Literally, we have made three reservations that have not worked out. I don't, one of them, because it was Thanksgiving, they called us and they were like, actually, you made a reservation for this time, but we closed earlier. Tried another place, 
when I got here, I was looking it up. Turns out they're cash only. And neither of us really brought a lot of cash because who carries cash these days? And then after that, we just kind of gave up. So I think we're just gonna find something random and just get some food in because at this point I'm hungry. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. At least I just had the time to do my makeup. I'm pretty much wearing the same outfit that I was earlier. I'm just wearing the black puffer. I uh, did my makeup and put on a different hijab. I'm just wearing some comfy yoga pants and I'm just gonna wear my Uggs with this. But yeah, that's the fit for today. I still need to put on lipstick. But I will catch you guys in a little bit. I really haven't had the chance to catch up with you yet. You saw a few clips of our brunch and 
and we just tried to shoot some photos but it's pretty rainy and gloomy out today so we haven't really been able to take many pictures um, just ended up doing some Black Friday shopping still doing that right now I just grabbed some coffee because I'm super tired and then we have a dinner reservation for tonight Yesterday, like I told you, it was super cloudy and rainy, so we couldn't really get the content that we wanted. Um, I don't know if I talked about this, but this is essentially like a content trip for us. I think we both really wanted to shoot like fall winter outfits in New York because that's just something like we find inspiration from. Um, so it would be cool to do it together. And also, a lot of times when I come to New York or you know, when I go on trips with friends or family, it's like annoying to be the person who's always asking for photos and stuff so it's kind of nice to be here like solely for a content trip and know that's what we're here for um, and just kind of like get everything done we're both very much on the same page of like this is what we want to get done this is like something we take seriously so honestly it's really nice being here together and just like talking strategy and just like also having fun but like having this intention to create content and just like inspire each other so it's been really cool today we are going to shoot a little bit of content in soho because we tried going there yesterday um and we did some shopping there but it was too gloomy and rainy that we didn't really get any good photos i got a couple but like not what i wanted um so we're gonna try to do that today since it's sunny out and then probably head to brooklyn and shoot some content there and just explore brooklyn wait i realized i was talking about outfits and i literally didn't film my outfits so let me just give you guys a quick tour let's see where the light is good um i'm wearing this black fellow scarves hijab this green turtleneck that you guys saw in the old navy hall i borrowed this leather jacket from where it's cropped so it goes well with like the whole oversized look these baggy dad jeans from Levi's and my Uggs. Can you give us an outfit of the day? Yes, I have this jacket on from Zara. Skirt is from Zara. Cute. And then my Louis bag and then my shoes are ASOS. But Very I just paired it with this like denim skirt. Staying cozy. Yeah. Very cute. There's a little one, uh, 380. 360? Three, oh, <laughs> why did I say that? <laughs> Okay, edit that out. <laughs> Hey guys, so we're at the Hijab Glamour showroom, picking out some cute stuff to shoot in. They have an in-person showroom in Brooklyn where you can come, chill, try on clothes, and it's all private as well. So there's a whole showroom and fitting room. Aren't these so pretty? <laughs> All these flowy dresses. So this is the showroom. And this is honestly my favorite part. This wall of hijabs. You can come and match everything. It's so hard to match hijab outfits, hijabs to outfits, especially basic clothes. And here they have like fancy ones. And they also have every material honestly you can think of 
and this is Nuseiba, the, the owner <laughs> and creator of the brand. You want to say hi? I'm so happy to have Noor and Arham <laughs> here at the showroom. It's been such a pleasure. She's such a great designer. All the pieces fit so well, right, Noor? They, they oh my gosh, everything amazing. is amazing. We're shooting so much content. We're so excited. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Good job, Glamour. It was amazing. It's all in Brooklyn. It's based in Brooklyn, okay, but you can shop online. We're going to be shooting content. No, literally. I'm so yeah. excited. <laughs> so excited. Where can people make an appointment to come in person? They can book an appointment on the website www.hijabglamour.com. Um, it's gonna there's a tab that says visit us, so they'll click that and they'll book an appointment. Perfect, thank you. This was my favorite dress. It like has a tie at the waist and then it flows out so pretty. Ended up getting one of these, and it comes in different colors too. So pretty. So I got an iced mocha and an espresso chocolate croissant. Looks so good. Oh my gosh. And I got the Zafar Nebnit. So good. I'm so excited to try that one. And then I got the pistachio. And then my coffee's coming. Yummy. My coffee is a tahini part. It's going to be very interesting. Oh my gosh. Don't leave me. <laughs> I know, right? I'm staying for another day, but Arham decided to leave me earlier. Uh, I'm kind of sick of her, so I gotta leave. That's not true. Just earlier, she said this is the best trip she's ever been on. Did I? Yeah, you did. No, I'm not sick of her, but it's been really fun. Hi guys, I just wanted to wrap up the vlog. I got back from New York pretty late yesterday. It was raining and there were so many accidents on the road. I ended up getting home two hours later than expected. So I just like unpacked and went straight to sleep because today I had my interview. I don't know if I mentioned that previously, but I had an interview today and Alhamdulillah, it went really well, I think. And I am so tired now because <laughs> I definitely had a crazy week and I hope you guys enjoyed joining me for the ride and 
I'll see you guys in the next one.